Nice drunk. Metamorphic Force is the most 1993 thing to ever be 1993. I don't even have a chance to get my bearings when I sit down and play this one. This game just leaps off of the screen and attacks your face with a barrage of bright and garish colors. Everything just oozes insanity, like some kind of Lisa Frank Spirograph acid trip. As you can see, this is an arcade beat-em-up, and it's made by Konami, and apparently they made a bet with someone to see who could come up with the most bizarre color scheme possible. It's like a neon bowl of fruity pebbles come to life. The music is also extremely 90s. Check out this killer lick. Once the shock value of how this game looks wears off, then you can start to digest a little more. The story here is that this evil dude is doing evil stuff with his evil army of monsters, so the goddess of the universe or something summons four souls to take the bodies of four dudes and gives them the ability to change forms. One into a bear, one into a wolf, one a bull, and one a panther. Yeah, it's totally ripping off Altered Beast, but this game is way better. Metamorphic Force is four-player compatible, featuring four playable characters you use to get through five levels, and like I said, this game wastes zero time getting going. As you can see, everything here moves ridiculously fast, and I don't just mean the gameplay. I mean you start the game and you're out in the open fighting these lizard things, then suddenly it's raining, then suddenly these statues are tossing boulders at you, then these dudes come from nowhere to throw fire at you, and then these insanely creepy looking things straight out of an interdimensional cable show come by, and just like Golden Axe, you have to kick the crap out of them to get items like health replenishments, as well as statues that enable you to change forms, which make you much faster and much stronger. But if you take too much damage, you revert back to your human form. Anyway, before you know it, it's a boss fight. I won't let anyone step in this area. You gotta love that voice acting, that's the best. And what is this thing? The amazing Technicolor Seder? Look at the cod piece this guy is wearing, sheesh. So yeah, everything about this game is fast, 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 both in terms of gameplay and in structure. You can smash your way through the first three levels in something like 12 minutes. What's interesting beneath the surface of this game is how much it has in common with another Konami arcade beat-em-up, X-Men. You can play with up to four players, the sound design is similar, and some attack animations are seemingly lifted straight from that game. Like when your opponent is prone on the ground, you can wail on them. Plus, when you find transformation statues when you're already in beast form, you do a special move, and come on, that's clearly Nightcrawler's special move. And that right there is obviously Colossus's special attack as well. Nothing wrong with that, I just thought it was interesting to point out. There's all sorts of hilarious touches here and there throughout this playthrough. For instance, I already mentioned the ridiculous voice acting, and plus, I love the giant dead soon icon that shows up when your health is low. I'd love for a ROM hack to replace the obnoxious beeping in Link to the Past, and only have a huge arrow that says dead soon pointing at Link. Some of the bosses are hilarious too. Check out this two-headed monster thing. Apparently he's a huge Vikings fan since he's decked out in purple and gold. In fact, I'm pretty sure I've seen this guy at a game years ago. And of course, in classic arcade fashion, every boss dies via a giant explosion. Anyway, yeah, Metamorphic Force is an absolute onslaught on the senses, to the point that it almost feels like it's too fast and too insane to keep track of. I'm not gonna lie, in my first playthrough I got a bit of a headache after something like 15 minutes of playing. It's still a blast to play through, and it's a classic case of a game where you want to keep playing just to see what happens next. Anyone that spent tons of quarters playing X-Men will feel right at home with this game. And if you dig this game's style and you're looking for another crazy 90s beat-em-up, check out Capcom's Battle Circuit. It's part of the Capcom beat em up bundle and that one is in the same boat as this game. However, unfortunately, Metamorphic Force never received any kind of home port, so this is another one that you've got to play any way you can. Alright, I want to thank you for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.